Yori Hoa. That means hello, my friend. And that's what you are. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you get everything you ever wished for. I hope you have lots of fun. And I hope I just been told it's your birthday. I hope you have a very good day, cousin. I hope it's fantastic. It brings you everything you ever wanted. I've been having lots of adventures hanging out with this one. Yes, we've been having a jolly good time, haven't we? Well, I'll let you get on. Well, um, what he said, I guess. Happy birthday, Paul. Oh, good morning. I wonder if you could help me. I would like to leave a message for the Major. Um, last time I saw him, he was up in the back bedroom looking at the railway lines. Can you get him to come to the telephone? Um, I don't know. Once he gets onto his railway lines, he's, uh, he's gone forever. Oh, well, if he, if he can't come to the telephone, um, maybe, uh, Dame Hilda. Can Dame Hilda come to the telephone? Is she I'm, there? I'm afraid not. She's taking afternoon tea with Lady Bracknell. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, look, I'll tell you what, here's my last resort, other than Bognor Regis. Um, is it possible to speak to Mr Paul Scott? Um, no, I'm afraid he doesn't live here anymore. Uh, doesn't live there anymore, a bit like Alice, what? Yes. In which case, I'm going to have to leave a message. I'll leave it for Paul Scott. Maybe you can be useful and help me with the message, do you think? I will give it my best shot, madam. Marvellous. I'm going to count you in. Are you ready? Yes. Three... 729. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paul. Happy birthday to you. Why was he born so beautiful? Why was he born at all? He's no bloody use to anyone. He's no bloody use at all. Happy birthday to the three of you. Happy birthday. Mr. Scott, how the devil are you? Oh, no, this isn't what this is. This is a message. Uh, hello. I hope you're well. Happy birthday, sir. Um... I can't believe that you're 512. I, I, you look remarkable. I just, I hope that you're keeping that portrait in good condition. Um, sorry that you're having to celebrate this year in lockdown, um, but uh, not too sorry because you get to spend it with the lovely Susanna. Uh, you're a very lucky man and she's also a very lucky woman. You're, uh, you're a wonderful chap um, and I hope that this year uh, brings everything to you uh, that that you deserve, which sounds more threatening than it is, but that's projection on your part. Okay, I'm only sending positive vibes your way. Um, love and miss you. Uh, can't wait to see you again. Can't believe it's been over a year since we've seen each other, uh, or at least face to face. And um, yeah, that's it really. Big love from me and Kirsty. Right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Paul. Have a lovely day. Right, Theodora Lyons. Yes. Yeah. You are now one year old, and it's time for you to learn about Uncle Paul. It's very important to pay attention. These are the things that he likes. See, smiley face, these are what he likes. That's always important, the smiley face. That's the giveaway, but not always. <laughs> Donkeys. He loves these, especially on a Friday. We don't ever really, yes, yeah. we don't really understand it, but we just go with it. Yeah. More than people. Yes. Except for the next person, who is Angela Lansbury. He loves this person. Yes. Even though she was a teapot, he still likes her, and probably has got everything she's ever done. Yes. And then, he also loves... Corned beef. We also don't understand this one because as you can see from the picture it looks pretty disgusting. So, um... They started making it during the war and have never looked back. 
which is about the time your Uncle Paul was born. Yes. But he does like some foreign food. Well, one item. Okay, one, one item of foreign food. Ice cream or yes. gelato. And this one is his legs. Yes. Uncle Paul loves his legs, the Savoyard's legs, he says. Now we can understand your desire to look away, <laughs> but you must try and pay attention. It's very important. He does like his legs. He also likes Stephen Sondheim, <laughs> although we're not sure if he likes Stephen Sondheim's legs. The jury is out <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Next one. Yes, and less said about Stephen Sondheim. Yeah, I can't stand Sondheim, and Uncle Paul knows Now, that. what does he dislike? Angry face. Angry face. It might be a long list. We haven't got all of them, because there were too many. We, so we I captured a down. select few. We did. Uh, oh. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes. Never, ever like an Andrew Lloyd Webber. No. Don't ever hum a tune. No. Murmur a lyric? No. Or, you know, you'll be... Perform one? Yes. Oh, yeah. Mummy's favourite movie? Yes. The Sound, Sound of, of Mucus. Music. Mucus. There you are, another of Uncle Paul's most favourite films. Mm. Ah, what's this one? Pizza? No. No. Melted cheese. Melted cheese. Cannot stand melted cheese. Yeah. Ugh. Butter chicken? Yeah. He likes butter chicken. Oh. I can't remember what this one was. It's, you know. Oh. Yeah. It's you, Theodora. Yeah. It's children. Children. But you, she might be all right. Yeah. <laughs> she might be all right. Ah. Uh, but this is, um. The child can. Yeah. yeah. Now it's very, very important to note that uh, Paul has often been compared to the child catcher. Well, it's not difficult. Yeah, I, I know. Look. Now, they do look very similar. So very, very similar. Up. Yes. But there is a fundamental difference between the child catcher and Paul Scott. Mm. See, the child catcher gets paid <laughs> to be a child catcher. Where Paul Scott does it for free. He does. He enjoys it. Oh, now this next one. Oh, yes. Do you remember? Mmm. Bad, Bad direction. direction. Yep. If Uncle Paul doesn't like something in the theatre, it's awful. Oh, yes. It's awful. Oh, yes. Um, but luckily, he's an amazing director. Yes. And he'll tell you about Titanic one day, Theodora, and how good that was. Mm. It was a good film. Yeah. Show. Oh, show. Sure. Okay. Ah. Right. Oh, I thought he liked it. it. Oh, obviously not. No. Not Star Trek. No, he doesn't like Star Trek. No, I think it's just something about this. Oh, one. the 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 plastic man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go, go on to the next one. Oh. oh yes. Bad punctuation. Yes. Yeah. As soon as you start reading and writing and learning your grammar. Mm. Yeah, well, absolutely. Mm. absolutely. Uncle yeah. Paul will correct you if it's wrong. He will many times. And anyone else in the world. When, when he first, first meets, meets them. them. Because your mummy sang an Andrew Lloyd Webber song <coughs> beautifully, just like that, for an audition. Yes. And Uncle Paul was watching and she finished her last note and this voice said, Bloody Andrew Lloyd Webber. See? you know, earlier in the slideshow. Yeah, there you go. So that's it. Well, and now all, you know. all the things you need to know about your Uncle Paul. So, serious bit now. Paul, you have been a friend for quite a while now, and you are someone who we rely on, uh, someone who we treasure um, and we thank you very much for all the support you've given to Gary and myself and Theodora um, over the years and we're really happy that you... Theodora's joining in. She just <laughs> wants you to know how much we care. Oh, we do. We love you very, very much uh, and we uh, wish you the happiest birthday. 
uh, and uh, I'm sure it'll be a special day. Uh, but uh, just uh, we can't make to wait to be able to meet up properly uh, and spend time together. Uh, we're just counting the days. So have a good one. Enjoy yourself. Lots of love, mate. And um, we've prepared a little song Ooh. for you. Uh, so after three, one, two, three. Happy birthday, Paul. Happy birthday. Uh, last year, before all this kicked off, we planned to have a, a lot more parties at our house and we had a pizza oven built. Since then, we've only really eaten pizza from it. But we look forward to inviting people over in the, new, in the year. Come and have pizza with us. Have pizza. Bye. Have pizza. <laughs> There you are, dear boy. Just getting ready for your party. You know. Lemon drizzle cake. I might have to try a slice. The rest will go in the freezer for when you're ready to eat it. Enjoy your day. Have a lovely day, Paul. Happy birthday. Lots of love. Mwah. Paul, happy 60th birthday. As a very special treat, I'd like to read you a passage from my favourite book. Strangely, the character is called Paul, and he's very much like your good self. Indulge me. Paul liked her straight away. I noticed it during our first dinner together. He was charming to her. His real winsomeness was his warmth and not the self-confident glamour for which he was so well known. For all his shrewd exploitation of his masculine appeal, he was curiously unaware of this more touching side to him. A genuine desire to please, a natural warmth, we sat around the long dining table, miles apart from each other. I couldn't see Paul's face, for the tall candelabras between us. All the candles were lit, and the dining table looked very elegant, yet utterly incongruous to the simple meal I prepared. Shepherd's pie was the only dish that I'd learned to cook and had cultivated to near perfection. Paul raised his glass and said some well-chosen words of welcome. She smiled 
took a few little sips of wine, crinkling her nose attractively. Her hair hung straight down the sides of her face, spinning loosely over her shoulders. Three weeks is hardly long enough, said Paul, and I swear I could have killed him at that moment. Well, Paul, I'm sure a lot of people could have killed you, but they haven't, which is lucky. So that was an extract from John Pertwee's wife's book. Oh yes, and it's called Together. Mmm, it is a literary classic. And now you must go and wash your palate out by reading something else. Oh, and by the way, say hello to the Major from me. Mmm, salute.